Hi guys, it's Tracy from my grandma's teacups and I was just thinking that I'm going to be doing a canvas and I wanted to go over how we use the gesso. I know I just did the tutorial on working with gesso, but I thought, you know what, let's do just to do this one together. So all you do is get your dollar store canvas, put some gesso down. I like using these because they're cheap and you know I use them I lose them and I don't worry I think I paid like 10 cents I get them at Michaels when they're on like really really cheap so just lay, put your gesso on make sure you cover all the areas and all we're doing is priming the surface so that all of our inks and paints and everything don't sink into the canvas. So remember that was our first use for gesso. It was as a surface prep. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute. And I've already chose my image and it's a little bit big for this canvas, but I'm okay with that because um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna make it a really busy piece. So um, it's an image that is going to be given away on my blog this month from Gecko Gals. So this is my finished image. I colored it with my Spectrum Noir uh, markers. And so be sure to go on the blog and download this because it's a really, really nice digital image. Um, and so thank you to Gecko Gals for always giving us a stamp every month to give away on the blog. Um, so all I'm going to be doing is once the gesso's dried, I'm gonna start putting base colors down and I'm going to try to highlight this lady so the areas that I'm going to be working on I'm going to be leaving the center part mostly blank because she's going to cover it and I just want to make sure that I'm getting different colors and stuff around on the outside edges okay so for my tattered angels mitts that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using blue skies delphinium that's an old one, I don't know if you still got it. Um, sea glass. And turquoise blue. So you want to start with your lightest color, which in this case is sea glass. Make sure that you're protecting your work surface. Okay, sea glass doesn't want to cooperate. So we'll just do a little bit of flicking glass down there. Do a little puddle. Oh, I love that color. It's very shimmery. Okay. I'm just going to pick some of that up and move it around. Kind of give us this sky look. Okay, so you can see that we just have some faint blue down there now. Okay. It looks like none of my sprays will work today for me. Oh, there we go. <coughs> this is blue sky. And this is the best color. I love this color. Delphinium. Look at that. Okay. So we've got some color on there. Now let's just roll it around. We'll let those colors all mix in. I'm trying to get make sure that I make it to the edge all the way around. Hello, I'll just use the brush a little bit there. A little bit over here. Make sure we get it all. Now 
Now I have some Fast Violet Glimmer Glam. Which is a really nice purple. I'm trying to think of where my dropper is. Can't find it. Improvise with the end of a Color reminds me of the color that I used for the flowers in the picture, so that's why I like it. If you haven't worked with Glimmer Glam before, it's very much like the Tattered Angels Mists, except that um, it's a little bit, the color's a little bit more dense. So. It's not as thin when, like, you don't spray it out. You would use a paintbrush and just put, kind of put it where you want it. And when it dries, it's quite sparkly. Now you'll notice that I didn't start by putting paper on this canvas and that's because I wanted this to just be a very simple um, project just to, sh to show you this just the basics of how to get the gesso down and start adding color. So I very well could have started with a piece of design paper and Mod Podged it down, but just for simplicity, I just wanted it just to be the gesso and then the colors. Okay, now I'm going to add some Private Metal, which is another of the Glimmer Glams from Tattered Angels. blades of grass or bushes in there. So you can see it, I don't know that it shows up on the video, but there's more, it's like almost bubbling. Don't get hung up on too many of the details at this point because remember our focal image is going to cover a lot of it. just looking at the video screen here and I'm seeing it looks very white over here but that's just a reflection it's actually all colored so just gonna let that dry a little bit feel free to use your heat gun um, I just don't I'm working at my desk right now and I don't have an electrical outlet that's free so okay so I'll just have a look and see how she's going to fit on there I'm actually thinking I am going to take some of the background off of her just to kind of make the image a little smaller and give us a little bit more room for the canvas itself. So I'm thinking... I'm going to cut it right to the steps. It's 
the great thing about digital images. If you mess up, you just print another one. Let's hope I don't mess this one up though. Okay, so that's that chunk removed. I think I went a little deep on the green. <laughs> yep, I think that's gonna be really pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna trim down this side. But I wanna keep that area that has the butterfly and the flowers. I'm just going to trim as close as I can to these flowers. I'm just going to put some craft medley, craft premium craft, craft glue onto my image. I'm putting a little bit thick because I want her to stick up a little bit from the background. Just have to be careful because if um, you don't push it down hard enough, then you can end up with a lumpy bumpy image, which you don't want. As long as you stick it push it down it'll be all good okay so I'm just gonna have a quick look say okay where do we want her to be I think I want her off to that side Putting a little bit of gesso onto my work surface, right there, and I'm just going to start softening it just a little bit. I'm going right up over the edge of my image because I'm just going to blend it right in. Okay, so right now I'm just adding a flourish These are some cream of flowers that I have. So let's 
see if they're going to work. So I'm not sure about that. Oops, I can so much light. Sometimes it's fun. You just get your get out your stash and see what you have in there and play with the colors and see what's going on. Oops, drop them all over the floor. Works too. I'd like to use this big flower, but I think it's just going to overwhelm her. Let's see. Okay, so I'm liking that. So I'm just going to put on a bit of glue. And that's the great thing about mixed media is it doesn't matter if half of them are tissue paper and then one of them's like cards, a cardstock flower. It just doesn't matter because it's all going to blend together and look super cool when it's done. So it just ties everything together and it won't matter. Okay. Oops. I think I wanted there to be some gesso there. <laughs> okay, so then you just go in and dab it right over top of the flowers. Try to get in between. Okay, so most of the elements on our on our project have dried, and I think it's looking pretty cute. Now you'll notice that um, her arm did pick up some of the uh, the blue when I was spraying it, which was a mistake. But um, there's always a way to fix things like that. Um, so what I'm doing is, <coughs> pardon me, I'm just using my Spectrum Noir blender and I'm just pushing the dark ink through and then I'll push it back into the back See, it's looking lighter already and I'm just going to take my flesh color But um, this hand is supposed
supposed to be in the shadows, I know a little bit anyway. So I'm just gonna get that color in there just to kind of bring back the flesh tone. So my camera did cut out, so you missed, I went had gone back and I'm just adding um, a little bit of gesso to the flowers just to highlight, give it some different, different textures and highlights. Um, I also decided to add a couple of little glass marbles just to kind of make it look like a what kind of a water effect in there. Um, but I think she's turning out pretty cute. Um, again, just kind of look over it and anywhere you think it's a little bit dark or you want to draw some, some light in, you can just go back in and put a little bit of gesso and keep working it and keep lightening it and softening it. This is actually going to be a project, um, which I forgot to say earlier, that um, I'm going to be giving away um, to one of the people that work with my children, well, my child, my youngest. Um, so I'm hoping she's going to like it. I'm not sure if she likes Victorian stuff or not, but I'm hoping, because who doesn't like a nice Victorian picture? <laughs> So, there we have it. This is my mixed media canvas. And I'm thinking she's looking pretty cute. And I, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And um, I hope that you're, you have your gesso out and you're making your own little creation today. And if you did, make sure you post it. We'll talk soon.